remember what the haters talking about. What's up, family? There's a viral video out of a mother beating her son with a belt as he sits on the floor with a mouth full of regurgitation. And he lets it out and she beats him more. I'm gonna tell y'all straight up, family. That's that slave mentality. That is the actions of a person who has been conditioned to be beaten when they don't do something that somebody else wants them to do or they commit some type of infraction in the eyes of someone else. This kid's mother I'm sure was probably beaten herself. She probably has had a lot of cases of domestic abuse. All of this stuff goes together. If you have to use whippings as your primary source of punishment with your children, you are doing something wrong. See, a lot of parents... They like to strike their kids. They beat on them because they don't want to do the work. It's an emotional knee-jerk response oftentimes. They do something, you're mad, and you want to hit something. So you grab something and you hit your kid. Instead of falling back and saying to yourself, hmm, okay, he did this. Okay, what's the severity of what he did? Okay, what's the lesson? Because... Anytime you punish someone, there should always be a lesson. Anytime you discipline someone, there should be a lesson. Who beats a child until a child throws up? I'm not with it, man. I'm not with it. I hear some people that like to whoop. You know, y'all be like, hey, well, you know, this is what some of these kids need, you know. You know, maybe if some of these kids would have had whoopings, they wouldn't have da-da-da. Let me tell y'all something, man. Whoopings didn't work for me. I did what I wanted to do. Whoopings did not work for me. When a child has in their mind that they're going to do something, they're going to do it no matter what. Now, maybe it works for a small group of kids. But if you use whippings as a primary source of discipline and intimidation towards your kids, they are going to fear you, and your children should not fear you. I've heard people say oftentimes when I was growing up, you need to put the fear of God in them. I don't want to put the fear of God in my children. I don't want my children to fear me. Their house should be their sanctuary, just like it's mine. When they walk in there, they shouldn't fear anybody inside of that house. Respect, yes, but fear, no. A child should not fear his caretaker. I don't know where this damn mentality comes from, but it needs to stop because it is toxic and it is not productive. Kids are people too. They're not servants. They're not some type of punching bag that you get to relieve stress with. I don't understand how some people can treat their children the way they treat their children. My kids don't even remember getting spankings because I stopped spanking my daughter when she was five and my son when he was four. But even then, I only had spanked my daughter like twice and my son about three or four times. That's it. I caught my snap because I realized that children should not get used to people putting their hands on them when they don't behave in the manner in which they're expected to. Especially when you consider the father-daughter relationship. 
A girl should never get used to any man putting his hands on her. When a father hits his daughter and that daughter takes that in, she's like, well, my daddy put his hands on me and I know he loves me. And this guy right here, he's saying that he loves me and he puts his hands on me. You see how that behavior can be normalized and rationalized to the extent where it becomes very, very confusing and toxic. I realized that with my kids, all I had to do is take things away from them, take their privileges away. And that actually works better than spankings. It even worked better on me. I remember when my mama would tell me I couldn't go outside and I would have to look out the window and I, she'd make me stay in my room. I have to look out the window and I see the other kids running around playing and having fun. And I can hear all the laughter. Oh man, that was torment. That was very, very hard to deal with. But if she spanked me, she gave me a whooping. Okay, whoop me and it's over with, bam. There was never any conversation where she followed up with a lesson. Each time my mama whooped me, and I probably had at least a few hundred whoopings, I always felt she hated me. I never felt like she was disciplining me out of love. I always felt she hated me. So you make a kid feel like that. You may prevent them from doing whatever they did that time, but more than likely, they'll just sneak and do it, whatever it was because they feel you hate them and they'll probably hate you also. It don't work. That video was extremely hard to watch. So much so that I'm not going to even put a link in the description for it. If you want to check it out, Google it. Just type in woman beats boy so bad that he vomits or something like that. I don't know who she is, but if any of you out there know her, please tell her this for me. Her mama should be embarrassed and her daddy should have pulled out. No more talk. What the haters talking about? Yeah.